you guys. It is time to tell all of you how Della got started. How we fell in love. That's right. We are <laughs> going to let you all know about our love story. Yeah, so uh, they were basically, so cute. basically we're just gonna film our love story. This is something that we wanted to film so we could have as a memory for our future kids and just as a memory to look back on for us. And so we wanna talk about how we met, how we fell in love, how we got engaged, where we got married, like all of those things in this video. And so make sure you comment below and make sure you subscribe, hit the notification bell and follow us on Instagram because because we are having a giveaway, you guys. That means you can win an Apple Watch, and all you gotta do, like Bella said, is subscribe, follow us on Instagram, and we'll be giving away one Apple Watch to one of you guys. Yeah, we're super excited. We've given away AirPods and Beats in the past, and so we're really excited to be able to give someone an Apple Watch, and you guys are just the best. Like, we love you guys so much. We hope your stoke levels are super high today, because we're excited about this video, and it's gonna be a lot of fun to film for us. Okay, so we're gonna talk about how we met first. So basically, it's kind of crazy to look back and think about this memory, but I actually had a roommate at the time who was my best friend, and we decided we wanted to make as many friends as possible, so we had this pazuki party at my house. So basically, I invited a bunch of people over from church, and just like, I texted a bunch of my friends and said, okay, I'm having this big pazuki party. If you don't know what a pazuki is, it's basically like a cookie party. And oh, if you don't know what a pazuki is, you need to go and either make one or go <laughs> to a restaurant that sells one and True. get one today. Right now, tonight, this morning, wherever you are in the world, wow, wow. go get one. Talon's pumped about the pazookies. Yeah, it's a, it's sentimental because yeah, thanks to the pazookies, I met Bella and thanks to the pazookies, we're here today. Yes, all right, so basically I had this pazookie party. I invited all my friends. Well, so many people ended up showing up. It was like 80 people in my tiny little place and it party was crazy. Was lit. Yeah, it was it was super fun. I was meeting people left and right that night, and then Dallin ended up walking in with a couple of friends of friends. So Alright, so like, let me let me tell my side then. Yeah. So I was hanging out at some friend's house and I was actually hanging out with a girl at the time and um her brother What? Oh, look at that. Her brother was like, Dallin, let's go to this party, bring your girlfriend along, and um, cause I wanna, I need a wingman for, uh, he's trying to hook up with Bella's roommate, and so I'm like, all right, let's go. So the three of us went to the party, or the four of us, there's four of us actually, went to the party, and I remember I walked in, and I saw Bella, and I saw all these pizookies she was mating, making, and <laughs> we're at the party. Yeah, so he walked in, Honestly, I didn't really think anything of it. I just thought of Dallin as like a friend, as someone I could meet. And so basically, I was meeting so many people that night. I exchanged numbers with everybody in Instagram she got and my things number. like that. No, what she's trying not, to say is she got my number. Not in like a flirty way at all. Not in a flirty way. He was with another girl, you guys. I would never do that. Mr. Still Your Man right here. Absolutely not. Well, so anyways, we ended up um, hanging out in big group, like going on big group dates. So he would go with another girl. I would go with another guy. We go on group dates all the time. So it was super fun because he was just, he just became my best friend. Like we'd hang out all the time. For like a whole year, we were just strictly friends. Just we, friends, guys. Yeah, we would hang she out. She put me in the friend zone. Pretty much, yeah. But basically, we'd hang out all the time for like a whole year. And then... And then... And then... Finally, we, Bella came to her senses and was like, okay, maybe I should pull this guy out of the friend zone and maybe we can start dating. Yeah. But at that time, my family was actually moving to Utah and I was going with them. I was going to go to school up there. And I already had an apartment yeah. with friends, and I was getting ready to go to Utah. That's when I started to panic. I was like, oh my gosh, he's leaving. Like, I actually have feelings for him. I don't think he should leave. And so you I remember- You gotta put some pressure on her a little bit. Part of the story that nobody really knows is I remember one night, it was just the two of us hanging out. Wait, are out. we going deep into this? Yeah, we're going we're deep. We're telling the world this? Let me tell them. All right. So we were, um, we went on like a little date, just the two of us. Like we were still really good friends, but at the time like we were kind of exploring to see if it was gonna turn into anything more. So we go on this date and right by his house there's this mountain. So we climb the mountain, it's like the middle of the night. We're climbing up this mountain and we're just like sitting and you could see like this beautiful view of Arizona. And we're sitting there and I'm just talking and he's like, I'm going to, I'm going to Utah, like I'm moving. He's like, like are you okay with that? 
And I, I had like a panic moment at that exact moment. I remember looking at him, at him and being like, no, you can't go. Like you absolutely cannot go. You have to stay. And I had her like him. this. No, no, no. That's what you think. I had her. But then this is what freaked me out. So we ended up starting the date after that. And we were, we hung out every single day after that. We were like inseparable. And one night we were just hanging out by his house. And, um, this is what will always like just one of the most memorable moments of our relationship is we were sitting at a playground. We're like swinging on the swings or something at night. There was a, there was a park right next to my house. Yeah. So we'd always just like park. hang out and talk. Like we, we could talk for hours and we were just sitting there and he looks at me and I like start to get all nervous. I'm like, what is going on? He's like, <laughs> I know that we're going to get married. I'm like, are you kidding? We've, at this point, we've been dating for like two weeks, you guys. It was like two or three weeks. Okay, but but during that year of being friends, like I was already scoping out Bella. So that two weeks of dating was like, I, I was already new. I was already fully yeah. invested in Bella. I was not going to Utah anymore. Canceled all my apartment plans with my friends. Said, sorry, I'm staying here. I'm with this girl now. I knew, like, confidence is key. Like, when you know, you know. And so I told Bella, I was like, listen, if we start dating within six months, we're gonna be engaged. Yeah, he said that. He's like, if we're dating, like, if we're officially dating, then that means we're gonna be getting married, or we're gonna be engaged in six months. And I laughed out loud. She laughed. I laughed. I was like, yeah, right. Like, Bella laughed out loud, and I laughed inside because I knew it was true. Yeah, yeah. I did not believe him. And let me tell you, he was right. <laughs> yeah, exactly. I knew I was right. We were engaged six months later. Six months later, we were engaged. And let's talk about our engagement for a second. Because, well, <clears throat> I'll never forget, he actually asked me officially to be his girlfriend June 1st. No, 2nd, Bella. It was June 1st. 2nd. Really? 2nd. Are you sure? June 2nd. Okay, it was June 2nd. I thought it was the 1st. I we'll think see I'm if right. you can get the rest of the dates right. I think I'm right, but... It was June 2nd. One for Dallin, zero for Bella. We'll, we're going to go through all the dates of when uh, things happened, and we'll see if she yeah, can get I'm it right. Yeah, I'm actually really bad at remembering our dates for some reason. I, at least I remember our wedding date. Anyways, what day did we meet? What day did you throw the party? October 28th. Yeah. October 28th, she had the party. That's when we That's met. That's the day that we met. So I'll, I'll, I'll remember that date. And then he asked me to be his girlfriend June 2nd, whatever. And then we're engaged in November. You don't know what day though. I don't know what <laughs> day. November know what 28th. Day. No. It was October 28th. No. It was November. No, 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 after. no. You said October 28th when we met. November what? November. No, we met. Or we got engaged in November. Just yeah, say yeah. it. Just say it. 27th. I said the 28th. See, I'm one two day, day out. Two days after uh, Thanksgiving. Yeah. So, anyways, let's talk about our engagement because that's something that is like the best memory ever. Such a you crazy story. You have to tell story. that story. All right, you guys. Our engagement, okay? Most of you know we got engaged in Paris and it was a complete surprise to Bella. Bella had no idea that I was yeah. in Paris with her. I was there, okay, so I was there on a girl's trip with my mom and my little sister, mm -hmm. and I was invited to go to the Victoria's Secret fashion show that year. Um, She's fancy. I'm fancy. The no. BS fashion so show. So that was the year that it was in Paris, and so um, because of my company, I was invited to go to that. So it was right before that. I thought I was just going with my mom and that my little sister was going to be there, and so we ended up going to the Eiffel Tower to take photos. I was so All right, all right, all right, all right. Back it up yeah, yeah. way you further. You're, you're, already, you're already in Paris. Okay, okay. All right, so we were in Utah with my family for Thanksgiving. Like I said earlier, my family moved to Utah. We went up there for Thanksgiving. I already had the ring. I was ready. There was three people that knew um, that I was going to propose to Bella. It was Bella's mom. Or I take it back, four. Bella's dad, my friend, five. And then my two parents. Because I was taking my friend with me to Paris to uh, help take pictures and video. And um, so it was the five of us that knew at that time that I was going to propose to Bella in Paris. So what happened was we were in Utah. Bella was leaving from Utah to, straight to Paris. Well, I also had a flight from Utah straight to Paris. But it was three hours after Bella left. So what happened was 
I ended up uh, taking Bella to the airport. I was so sad because I was going to be leaving him for like a week and a half. And so he said goodbye to me at the airport. His dad drove us. Yeah. So I gave him like the biggest hug. I'm so upset. I'm going through security. I'm like, oh my gosh, I'm not going to see him for like a week and a half. I'm yeah, but what she didn't know is my bag was in the back as well. And I was planning on staying at the airport and my friend was meeting me there. So we drop off Bella. I say goodbye to her. I tell her how sad I am, how I won't see her for a couple weeks. And I told her that I was planning on doing a snowboarding trip with my brothers that late, the rest of the day and the following day. That was my cover up for I'm me so getting naive. on the flight. There wasn't even any snow in Utah at this point. And I believed him. I was like, oh yeah. yeah. There's, I told her there was yeah. snow on a couple mountains like a couple miles away and I believed that she believed guys. it. I'm like, all right, cool, yeah. So we drop off Bella at the airport and then me and my dad, we make a loop around the airport and we come back around and my dad drops me off. So I'm literally in the airport with Bella. But I'm very oblivious. And I watched Bella go through security and go over to her gate. But the problem was my gate was just right on the other side of hers, leaving a couple hours later. So I went through security. At that time, I'd already been with my friend. The, the two of us went through together. And then we sat on the other side and Bella sat on the other gate. And we literally watched Bella's fl uh, plane take off. And then ours took off like a couple hours That's later. That's so crazy to me. It was crazy. So the whole time Bella was traveling, I was traveling as well and I told her that I had been snowboarding and that's the reason I couldn't text her because she got yeah. Wi-Fi on the plane and I'm like crap she's gonna want to like see what I'm doing yeah and I was always it was texting crazy. him yeah and he just kept texting me like I'm like send me pictures of your snowboarding trip and he's like I can't I'm up in the mountains there's bad service and I'm like okay. yeah oh I forgot we were we uh one time we were on our layover in Texas and Bella's like hey Bella was at her layover in New York, and I was at a layover in Texas, and then we were going over to Paris. But um, she was like, hey, I want to FaceTime you before I get on my flight to Paris. And I'm like, crap. Uh, the, uh, like, the plan's ruined. She's going to see that I'm in an airport in Texas. And she tried FaceTiming me, and I kept declining it. And I was like, I'm sorry, babe. Uh, service is bad. I'm trying to accept it. We're going up on the chairlift right now. <laughs> I can't text you. I can't FaceTime you. It's bad up in the mountains. I've been Plus. snowboarding all day. And I'm sitting in an airport in Texas. And she has no idea. <laughs> That's crazy to me. So anyways, I end up going to the Eiffel Tower. I just land in Paris with my mom and my sister. We get to our hotel. Not even 30 minutes later, my mom's like, Bella, do you want to go get your nails done? And I'm like... Oh, are you saying my nails look bad? My nails were horrible. Like they, I had like been like chewing on like. Yeah, they, they shout out to terrible. Bella's mom for looking out for you. Yeah, and so anyways, I'm like, sure, like why not? Let's go get our nails done. So we go get our nails done and I'm like, this is so weird. Like the first thing you want to do right when we land after a long flight is go get your nails done. And then she's like, let's go get our hair done. I'm like, I don't really care about my hair right now. Like I just want to go explore Paris. And, yeah. and I was like, actually, I want to take a nap. So I ended up going to the hotel and taking a nap with Jet my little high. sister. I was so sad, or I mean, not so sad, I was so tired. And we're sleeping, and I get, my mom gets back, she went and got her hair done, and she's like, Bella, you gotta get up, we gotta go to the Eiffel Tower right now. So at that point, I had just landed in Paris, and I was planning on going straight to the Eiffel Tower and meeting Bella there. And so I'm coordinating with her mom, but with Bella's mom, but Bella's mom's texting me saying, Bella won't get up, she won't, get out of bed to go to the Eiffel Tower. I wouldn't get up. I was so angry. My mom kept like shaking me to wake me up and I was so jet lagged and tired. Um, finally, she gets me up. I'm like so upset. I'm like, mom, I don't want to go right now. I'm so tired. I'm being kind of bratty at this point. I'm like, mom, why are you so like adamant about us going because to Because they were, they were going to be there for a week. And so they were going to yeah, be able to see like, everything. There was no rush. I was like, I don't want to rush. Like, let's go get food or something. Like, I don't want to rush the Eiffel Tower. So anyway, she's like, put on this outfit. Like, you should wear this. I could take some cute pictures of you. I'm like, I don't <laughs> care what I wear. I was about to wear like sweats and a t-shirt. Like, I could care oh, less. Oh, that would have been bad. So anyways, I ended up putting on like a casual outfit, like a beanie. It was kind of cold outside. And I get we get to the Eiffel Tower. And my mom is like, where do you want to take pictures? I'm like, okay, right here. We're taking some pictures. I look at the pictures. Which, because Bella was being a brat, it wasn't the right spot that we had planned originally. And so, me and my buddy are running around in that area looking for them, and I'm so scared that I'm not going to come around the corner and I'm going to see Bella. 
And it was a, it was at a crazy time in Paris. There was high security, and there were these like a lot of armed guards around, and they're watch. And these guys are watching me and my buddy. We look real sketchy. We're running around. We're like kind of frantic. We're trying to find Bella, and then all of a sudden we see them. And I kid you not, Bella looked at me directly in my eyes. I don't remember that. And I like dove around a bush and I like sat there. I was like, I ruined it. She saw me. Like, it was like we locked eyes for I like, don't remember that. a second and I turned away and I looked at my buddy and he's like, it's, it's ruined. Like she saw us and I was so upset. And then all of a sudden my buddy peeked out and he's like, they, they're, she didn't even notice. Like she didn't, she didn't do anything. I didn't notice. I had no idea. I'm so oblivious. Like I wasn't even thinking that he was there because I'm texting him at the same time saying, yeah. how's the snowboarding trip going? Yeah. And he's like, it's so much fun. Yeah. Well, anyways, so this is where it gets crazy. Um, I end up, I'm taking pictures. My mom's taking pictures of me and I'm like totally posing, like whatever. And then all of a sudden someone grabs my arms. And I think like the first thought was like, I'm getting like mugged or something. Abducted. Abducted. Something, it was like freaking me out. Well, I turn around and there Dallin was and he gets on one knee and he proposes and it was the craziest experience. We're going to link the video down below so you guys can watch it, watch the full video um, to see the rest of the details of how that all went down. But it was a crazy experience. It was wild. And then, Make sure you check out the video down below. Yeah. And then we started planning our wedding, which was so much fun. We knew we wanted to have a carnival wedding. Ever since I was a little girl, I dreamed of having a carnival wedding for some reason, like with a Ferris wheel. I knew I wanted a Ferris Ferris wheel. I thought that would just be the coolest thing. And if you know my mom, she is like the best decorator and like she makes things happen. So she made the carnival wedding dreams come true. We're going to link our wedding video below as well because it is so much fun and it's a memory we'll never forget. Um, and then after our wedding... Hold we on, I gotta say one thing oh about yeah, the wedding. Oh yeah, go for it. So what's crazy about the wedding was Bella and I actually went on a date together when we were first dating to oh, yeah. a carnival. And it was funny, we didn't have anything planning that planned that, that night that we ended up going on this date. We were just driving around the city talking and we see this carnival in a parking lot. It's like an empty parking lot. Yeah, it was empty and Bella's like, hey, let's let's go to that, why not? And we were literally the only ones in the carnival. It was crazy. The only ones. And no it was a sketchy was ride, sketchy carnival workers, you know how they are. And um it was honestly such a fun, one of my favorite memories that we had together. Like going on the Ferris wheel and the swings, it was so much fun. Well, we didn't think much of it. That was the end of that date. And like, I don't even know, like almost probably a year later, we are getting married and we're having our carnival wedding. And I kid you not, that exact same carnival, those exact same rides and the exact same people. workers. Yeah, same people were the ones that did our wedding. Which we didn't even plan didn't, that. No, my, mom, was, my mom found the carnival workers and the, the rides. She rented yeah. them from that company. And it happened to be our first date, the rides that we went on, like it's Craziest so crazy. thing. Cause we had pictures from that date that we went back and found. And we looked at the Ferris yeah. wheel and looked at all the rides and the people there at the bottom. Yeah, working, we remembered the and people. it matches out perfectly. It, it's so crazy. It was the weirdest thing. So, so it was meant to be. It was meant to be. We had the coolest wedding that I've ever been to. It was a party. We went on rides, so Ferris wheel. We had the hammer. We had the swings. It was super sick. So uh, we're also gonna link that video below where you can get the whole details on our wedding. Yeah, so those are some of the best memories ever. And now we've been married for two and a half years, which is so crazy. We just mm -hmm. came up on two and a half years and it really has flown by. We went on our honeymoon to Maui. Um, and Which we also have a video, yeah. video for, we're gonna link below. Yeah, we'll link all the videos <laughs> below if you guys wanna watch them. So anyways, that is our love story. All right, you guys, we don't wanna bore you anymore talking about our love story, but we thought it would be appropriate to let all of the Della fam know how Della was started. Yeah. Kind of important for all of you guys. Seriously, we thank you guys so much for being a part of the Della fam. You guys are awesome. Stoke levels are super high. And uh, we love you guys. Yeah, we really do. We love you guys. And so uh, make sure you're subscribed. Join the Della fam. Hit us up on Instagram. And uh, we'll see you guys tomorrow. Bye, guys.